Oh, it's Wednesday. And I thought I'd start the vlog a little bit earlier than I normally do. The waiting. So, let's find out much I weigh. Sheesh. That's a point seven of a drop overnight. Let's go this way. Oh, you know what that means? Cardio is completely out now, and we're gonna increase the fats more. Lots to do today. Got to go get egg whites because I'm an idiot and didn't pick them up yesterday. Did I? I took you guys shopping, so I need to go get some more egg whites. And then I'm actually gonna be at Stackhouse today. Behind the counter between 11 and 2. So, let's get on the day. Sometimes I contract, there's just nothing there. But hey, right, check in's done. Review those now. Start my food for the day. Prep my food for the day. And go get egg whites. Go, go, go. Goods have been acquired. And I may have just. I've got the egg whites. And then I was like, let's just go and have a look at the ice cream. Because I like my ice cream. But I'm, I'm a bitch, okay? I openly admit that I'm not the biggest fan of going for Ben and Jerry's ice cream tubs, right? I just find they're far too dense, there's far too much, not necessarily going on because they taste the bollocks, but I could never finish a tub. And I'm, I'm the type of person, I like to have a variety of stuff when I'm eating like that sort of food. However, there is one Ben and Jerry's, which appeals the fuck out to me, which is the Netflix and chill. The last time I had it, I was really disappointed, and this was way back, almost a year ago now. But it was on offer, so I couldn't resist. So, Netflix and chill. It's got, for those that don't know, it's peanut butter with salty pretzel swirls and brownie pieces. Now the brownie pieces I could take it or leave. I'd rather have cookie pieces. But the peanut butter and the pretzel. So I'm normally an oppo, so I love oppo ice cream is up there. Um Halo Top not so much. It's Halo Top used to be awesome, but now since the likes of Oppo, Jude's have all come out. You know, they've really set up the game and they're so much better. Some of the Halo Top is okay, I suppose. Um, but hell, even Aldi's low calorie, um, I think it's cookie dough as well. Or cookies and cream, I think it's called. Their one's really good. So that's one. Of, that's actually up there one of my favourites. Yep, yeah, I'm a basic bitch. Deal with it, don't care. This one at the moment is the um, Oppo Caramel trying to find one but I don't want to pay four pounds am I am I is that time I don't want to pay four pound fifty for a tub of or a pint of ice cream four fifty steep three quid all day long four pound fifty bro fingers crossed you're coming off for this weekend but then I have already got that so ah I'm start I've started hoarding this is not good anyway I need to get cracking need to get home it's quarter to ten now got finished Propping food. Um, yeah, let's get it cracking. Janine's gonna sort me out, sort me out with a nice facial prior to my competition on Sunday. So, if you're in Essex or surrounding areas, come to Stackhouse. She's based here, so have a watch.
so enigmatic and charismatic gotta live static gotta get at it never pragmatic because we live tragic I my face feels so new the only work i can describe it a facial i think laying down on that bed Janine got to work and then that was it. I was asleep. <laughs> Legit just fell asleep and woke up feeling so refreshed and like revitalised and it was just so relaxing. Like prep is stressful enough. Peak week is a very stressful time so doing that sort of thing just to uh, relax a little bit. So nice. So so nice. So making my last meal in the evening. Handful of spinach, 250 milliliters of egg whites, and uh, 30 grams of peanut butter. So, now, I'm very unique in the sense that I have, or I, I should say, I have access to an agar, so my agar, which makes for amazing, and I'm talking really freaking good omelets. Boil down the spinach in the pan, throw in the egg whites and then I'll throw the whole thing, pan as well, into the agar, wait 10 minutes and it comes out perfect. Yesterday I just felt completely, completely wrecked. Like everything was ache, the fatigue was just through the roof. So, and well, there was a Wednesday, so I'd rather bring the fatigue down and start, you know, feeling a bit more alive and, and whatnot. So, cardio was pulled all together, no train today, fats were increased again. We're at low 76.6 kilos today. We'll see what we're going to be like in the morning, but we've been getting tighter and tighter as the day goes on. I am a happy chappy. Nice and spaces. Hold it down Part of prep is trying to make things taste good, right? Because you're restricting yourself so much. So my go-to seasoning has been barbecue seasoning. Now I was getting it from Aldi, but they discontinued it annoyingly um, about two weeks ago. So moved over to Sainsbury's. Mild and smoky barbecue. I'll have some fajita seasoning, just give it a little bit of a kick. Oregano, or oregano, as the Yanks call it. They are my three go-tos. Just to make things taste a little bit nicer, because right now I'm not having any sauce whatsoever. Normally up to around about three weeks out, I would have either, now I would have tomato sauce, because I never used to like tomato sauce, now I do like tomato sauce. So either that, barbecue sauce, or sriracha. Sriracha used to be my go-to, but it's actually quite calorific, so. I don't like mustard. I really wish I did because it's not very much calories whatsoever. But a little hack, hot salsa. If you like spice to your meals, hot salsa is not very calorific whatsoever. So throw that on to like your chicken and stuff like that and it's an easy way to, to spice things up a bit. So whilst the omelette's cooking, I'm going to do my nighttime shake. Or at least get that ready. So, Hydromax and Support Max. Why these? Hydromax, very, very good to help inflammation, number one. It's good for overall water balance, number two. The main ingredients, I believe, are dandelion root extract, helps with water balancing, coconut water extract, cranberry extract, and taurine and vitamin C. So collectively, 
it really does help with overall inflammation. Um, that lower back pumps is something that I've really struggled with, especially in peak off season. So I'll be taking this to become a staple for me, without a doubt. Um, I'll be having this throughout, and I'll have a scoop of this in the morning, and I'll have a scoop of it of an evening. Have, like last night, is Support Max Neuro PM. Now, the biggest reason for this is the ashwagandha to help with overall stress levels and just chill me the fuck out. Um, but they've also got a, a nice sleep matrix because um, they also do a AM version of this, which I believe doesn't have the sleep matrix in it. Um, but I cannot tell you how beneficial this has actually been on my prep. Um, I have this for about half an hour to 40 minutes before I go to sleep and I'm out of the count. Now, right now I'm waking up every hour and a half, two hours to go take a piss. But that's prep. This has been so, so good. Both you can cop at PNG. Use my code, Zach, 10% off. Shameless plug. And now the other thing from Strom again. It's a really kind of theme here. Um, we're actually incorporating into this peak week is, as you can see that, peak max. Um, I'll do a full video and breakdown of exactly what this is, why we're using it, another time. But that goes in today, so. But yeah, I'm gonna mix this up now, and then we'll get the omelette out. I had um, their cherry version beforehand, and now I've got Berrylicious. I never used to be a cherry guy. But cherry's, cherry's good. Cherry's very good. And then I'm also tea craving. That one there as well. So I've always been kicked out of the kitchen. Omelette. Look at that. Oi. Nut butter's all inside. So we've got 30 grams of peanut butter, which I'm very excited for. But that's it. Very, very short episode for you guys. But once again, sometimes prep life just isn't that exciting, in peak week especially. So, but I've got. There's lots to be done tomorrow. Haircut, beard, yeah, lots of stuff to be done tomorrow. So try and document as much as I can. But anyway, it goes without saying, as always, but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Do please make sure you hit the like um, this video if you did enjoy watching it. And I'll get you some more content tomorrow. Let's be true.